This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 8, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Sunspot AR3664 has grown so large, it is now visually rivaling the Great Carrington Sunspot of September 1859. To illustrate their similarities, Carrington's famous sketch to scale has been added to a picture of today's sun. Although the camera, ladies and gentlemen, was invented in 1816, they actually sketched the sunspots out that they saw through the telescope in the 1850s. How big is AR3664? Sprawling almost 200,000 kilometers from end to end, it is 15 times wider than Earth, or about one and a half planet Jupiter's. You can see Sunspot AR3664 through ordinary eclipse glasses with no magnification at all. Moreover, it is quite easy to project an image of this sunspot onto a sidewalk or a widescreen, just as Carrington did in the 19th century. Carrington's sunspot is famous because in August and September of 1859, it emitted a series of intense solar flares and coronal mass ejections. The resulting geomagnetic storms set fire to telegraph offices and sparked auroras from Cuba to Hawaii. The quote-unquote Carrington event has since become a touchstone of space weather and pop culture, with headlines stoking fears of an internet apocalypse if it repeats. Recent studies suggest that Carrington-class storms occur once every 40 to 60 years so we're well overdue. Does this mean we're about to get hit by another Carrington event? Probably not. Big sunspots don't always produce big coronal mass ejections. Indeed, the coronal mass ejection that AR3664 hurled towards Earth earlier today is puny compared to the coronal mass ejections of 1859. It won't cause much trouble when it arrives on May 10th or May 11th. Nevertheless, it would be wise to keep an eye on this growing active region while Earth is in its strike zone. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.